It's viciously snowing outside right now, but wanted to give some uh, thoughts on this potential Josh Taylor versus Tia Fimo fight real quick. Now, um, both of them have kind of hit a wall with their progression as fighters as of recently. This fight was being talked about a lot 18 months ago, two years ago. Because Taylor was on, had just became undisputed at, at, at 140 pounds by knocking out, or well, not not knocking out, but beating Jose Ramirez and unifying the titles. Teofimo Lopez was still riding high off his Vasil Lomachenko win. So a couple of years ago, this fight would have been huge, like a super super fight. Now it's not that. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> it's not that any longer. What it is now is a very, very good fight between two very accomplished fighters, okay? Now, I'm going to start with Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez, in my opinion, has the best single win of anybody in that division right now because he beat Lomachenko. And he beat him. It was close, but Teofimo did beat him, Okay. <laughs> Whereas I thought Orlando Salido got a bullshit decision against Lomachenko. Teofimo beat him, though, okay? Teofimo beat Loma. Salido did not. But <coughs> uh, Teofimo, as of recent, you know, he, he lost his titles to Cambosis. He looked terrible in his last two fights at 140 pounds against whatever that dude's name was, Pedro Campa. And then later on to uh, Sandor Martin, who, in in my and most people's opinions, I thought the fight was close, but most people feel that Sandor Martin won that fight. So he hasn't looked good recently. Taylor, on the other hand, was undisputed, had all the titles at one point, great resume, had a very tough road to 140 pounds, undisputed, a lot tougher road than Canelo Alvarez had at 168. But... That's neither here nor there. <laughs> but now Taylor has kind of hit a bit of a wall because everybody had Josh Taylor on the pound for pound list after becoming undisputed, and rightfully so. He fought some undefeated killers to earn those titles. However, as of recently, Josh Taylor had that fight with Jack Catterall and... That fight, see, this is the thing with that Jack Catterall fight, and I say this all the time. The fight was not a robbery. Should Catterall have won it? Probably. But it wasn't this big, huge robbery that people make it out to me, and I rescored that fight four times since it aired live, okay? It wasn't this big robbery. It was a close fight. It wasn't Tim Bradley, Pacquiao won it. It wasn't Pacquiao Horn. It wasn't Kovalev Andre Ward one. Should Jack Catterall have got the decision? Probably, but it was a close fight, dog. It wasn't this big robbery like people make it out to be, bro. And I'll challenge anybody to rescore that fight with me as well. And since then, Josh Taylor's been out of the ring for a year. He only has one title left remaining. He's still undefeated, but he's only got that one title left. And, and, and he's also gotten a couple of injuries since that Jack Catterall fight about a year ago now. So by the time Josh Taylor gets back in the ring and it looks like it's going to be against Teofimo Lopez, he is coming off injuries. He is coming off probably an 18-month layoff, right? 17, 18-month layoff. So this is a very good fight, people. It is a very good fight. But now, I think it's even going to be a better fight because both of them are a little bit of wounded animals. You understand? These are both guys that were unified champions. One of them, undisputed champion at one point. But both of them have kind of, kind of taken a back step. And they're looking more vulnerable than they ever have been before. Now, to Teofimo's credit, he has been active, whereas Josh Taylor has not been active but it's been against subpar competition, and he's looked terrible in it, okay? Taylor, like I say, he's coming off of injuries and coming off layoffs, so both of, both of them 
are at a very, very vulnerable spot right now, which makes this fight so interesting. Now, if they were both coming in at 100% their best, I don't have a shadow of a doubt in my mind that Josh Taylor would absolutely kick the shit out of Tiafimo Lopez. But the thing is, they're not coming in at, at their best for all those reasons I just described. So, it's an interesting fight. I hope it gets made. It's a very good fight, and I think that uh, both guys, it's kind of a, a little bit of a do-or-die fight for both of them. So, given that they've both kind of hit a wall in their accomplishments. Like I say, Taylor was riding high. He was undisputed. He beat a bunch of killers at 140. Tiafimo was riding high. He, he fought a couple of killers in the great Lomachenko at 135, became unified champion, moved up, got, got smoked by Cambosis, and then had a couple of difficult fights against nobodies. So both of them are looking vulnerable right now. And sometimes when wounded animals are more vulnerable, they're more dangerous, you understand? So I think it's going to make for a great fight, people. It's going to make for a great fight. Regardless of what anybody has to say, I think this is going to be an excellent fight should it fall through and take place. You understand? And then another good thing, they don't like each other. There's going to be a lot of jawing back and forth between the two camps in the buildup to this fight. So it's another very good fight that I'm looking forward to seeing get made here in the coming days, coming weeks, etc., because it is an excellent fight. And as far as Tiafimo did, did duck Regis Progre, and in my opinion, you could say Taylor ducked Catterall, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't dispute it. But at some point, Josh Taylor keeps getting injured. You got to move on, you know, and. You know, he's talking about Regis fighting Regis Progre now, and I'll tell you right now, Progres would mop the floor with Jack Catterall, okay? But we'll see what happens. I like the fight. I think it's an excellent fight. I don't think it's as big of a fight as it would have been a, a couple of years ago, but it's still a great fight nevertheless. Hopefully it gets made. So with that being said, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. You guys let me know who you think would, if, uh, wins this fight if they go ahead and fight in summertime, all right? God bless. Everybody have a nice evening, and I'll talk to you next time. Take it easy.